Yeah, finally. So um, tomorrow morning I have a talk at 8.45. It's quite early in the morning. So I want to make some teasing to help you wake up and uh, attend my talk. Um, okay, so for today, um, so I will not go into the details of Metabrick, but I will show you what we can do with it. Uh, for instance, here in the circle, some people are developing uh, a tool uh, to query CV, the CV database locally stored on your uh, computer. And so I uh, did write some bricks to, to play with the CV search. So in Metabrick, when you want to play with something, you search by tag. I want to play with CV search. And you see you do have two bricks which are speaking about uh, CV search. So one of the first steps to do is to install dependencies for the brick you want to use. Here I want to install dependencies for API CV search. So it asks for a password. Under the hood, it's in, uh, it is installing some uh, Ubuntu packages and some Perl modules. I said it, I said the word, it's Perl. Uh, so the brick is now ready to be used. And uh, okay, great, what can I do with this brick? I just call help on the brick. And as you can see, you have a few bunch of commands you can use. Uh, we start with server search db info. So here, in fact, it's querying the, the API available on the, on the civil search website. So here we are online. It's a REST API, no, no magic here. Uh, you can query available API. For instance, if you browse, you can get the list of vendor. Uh, you can search for it because it's automatically, automatically piped in the less uh, stuff. So, okay, you search the stuff. Um, what do you have? Uh, you see you have completion, so if I do tab here, it shows me which, which comments are available. Uh, I want to fetch let, latest addition to the database, so it's less, last command. So you have all the link. All of that, in fact, is saved in a variable which has the name of the run command, so you can play with it again and uh, count the number of entry you have because it's a hash, uh, not this one. Keys are okay. So if I want to count, it's the result one. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to look again at my structure. So it's results with the S. Okay, so I gather results. Okay, now I can count the number. Okay, so there is 30 results, but just for the demo, but as you can see, once you have a result from a command, you can play with the result of the command like it's a, like it's a Python shell, but it's a Perl shell. So you have another database, another uh, brick for CV search. It's database CV search. What can you do with it? Uh, again, you have some uh, commands you can run. One of them is, is install. Ah, there is a, a command to view the source code of a brick. Sometimes maybe uh, you may be interested in, in seeing what you have inside. So in a brick, you have some properties which basically define some commands, some attributes, and the required modules to run and you have the needed packages to, to run it. So for civil search, you have to install uh, Python 3, Python pip to install dependence. And thanks to the install command, it's done for you. There is a brick that will just fetch uh, the, the Git repository. S three minutes? Okay, perfect. Um, and once the git repository it fetch, it will automatically call uh, pip3 install to, to fetch uh, and install the requirements. After that, you have a command to init the database. Uh, I just followed the, the guide uh, online on how to install civil search on your local uh, uh, desktop, and uh, I will follow that. So it's calling a Python script to install the stuff. 
Uh, you can update the database, uh, repopulate the database, and of course, perform some search. So again, I want to call the dump last to see which were the last addition to my local database. Okay, so we have a variable with, with stuff. Uh, I want to get more information on the CVE, so I just call the search uh, and the number. So okay, I do have all the information. Well, that's how CV search works. Uh, you can query your local database, uh, so there is no, nothing new here. But maybe uh, you are aware that CV search stores data in a Redis or a MongoDB database. So maybe you just want to play with, directly with what is written in the Redis database. So you just go run. Uh, you want to list databases. Ah. It helps me, it tells me that I have to connect first. So, okay, I'm connected to the local database. Uh, I do have two databases, and I want to list all the keys of, uh, you, have, you have to know that DB12, if you want to query it, you have to call it 12. Well, that's really this. And now it dumps uh, the complete uh, content of the ready database, so you have uh, whatever you want. Uh, the same is true for MongoDB, for instance, because some data are stored in a MongoDB database, so you use the MongoDB stuff. What can we do? Help. You have all the help you want. Uh, again, you want to list available databases, so ah, I have to connect first. And you have three local databases. In MongoDB, your database has uh, collections. One minute. Some collections, so now I want to list uh, collection names from the CVE DB, so I have all the collections, but I want to dump the content of a collection, so now I call another common call uh, get, get database collection find all CVE DB, and I will dump, for instance, uh, MS. So it takes some time. So now I dumped the complete content of uh, what is stored in the MongoDB database, and it saved this in the dollar run variable, so you can play with it again and do whatever you want with it. That's Metabrick tomorrow morning, 8.45. Thank you.